Let's integrate cosine to the fourth of x. In order to do this, we're gonna need our power reduction formula, which is this one. Now you'll notice that the power reduction formula gets you from squared to cosine in the first degree, but we really wanna get from cosine to the fourth, so we're gonna end up applying this twice. The very first thing that I wanna do though is to rewrite cosine to the fourth so that I've got a cosine squared squared. Okay, here's what that looks like. So I end up with cosine squared inside here all squared dx. I'm gonna replace what is inside the outer squared with my formula. So we end up with, I'm gonna make my integral symbol a little bit bigger so that I can put that formula in there. So we get one plus cosine it's cosine 2u, that's twice the original angle. So our original angle for this one is just an x. So that's gonna be cosine 2x all divided by two. Now I've got that power two on the outside, so I've got some cleaning up to do before I can think about integrating at least part of this. I need to square the numerator, so I get one plus cosine 2x quantity squared. And I also need to square that denominator. Two squared is equal to four dx. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that divided by four out in front as a one fourth. So cleaning this up, doing just really a lot of algebra at this step, I've got my one fourth out in front. I'm going to expand this. You could use the binomial expansion if you remember that, a plus b quantity squared. If not, no big deal. I'm just gonna do FOIL. One plus cosine two x, the power two literally means times itself. So I've got another one plus cosine two x d x. So keeping that one fourth on the outside, almost ready to integrate, I'm going to go ahead and FOIL this. So I'm going to go first times first, which is going to be a one. And then I've got outer, which is going to be cosine two x, inner, which is another cosine two x. So there are two of those. So plus two cosine two x. And then finally doing that last product, Here's my other cosine squared. So I get plus cosine squared 2x, and then I've got my dx. Now thinking about this integral, I can integrate a lot of the integrand already. I can integrate the one, I can integrate the cosine 2x, two cosine 2x, but I can't yet integrate the cosine squared. Let's integrate what we can. I'm gonna leave that one fourth out in front while I'm integrating. So here comes the integral of one, that's gonna be an x. Next is my two cosine two x. I'm gonna go ahead and bring down that constant multiplier and then deal with the cosine two x. Now I could do a u substitution, that inner function would be two x, but I want a shortcut instead. Because I've got a linear function as my inner function, just x, I can take that constant multiplier two and bring it out as the reciprocal. So I'm gonna bring out a one half, and then the integral of cosine is sine, and I leave the two x on the inside. This leaves me with the integral of cosine squared 2x dx, and there's a plus c on all of this. I'll just put the c there on the outside. I've got some cleaning up to do. I'm gonna bring that 1 fourth back in, and then we'll deal with that cosine squared, but I've got another power reduction formula coming. So as I'm cleaning this guy up, I wanna bring the 1 fourth on the inside, and I've got three places. I also am gonna cancel those twos. So I'm gonna get part of my answer here with just that last piece left to integrate. Okay, so what do I have? I've got a one fourth times x, and then one fourth times sine two x. So one fourth sine two x plus one fourth times that cosine. So I get one fourth, or sorry, the integral of cosine squared two x dx. And I'm gonna go ahead and carry that c along with us. 
So the 1 fourth x is part of my answer. The 1 fourth sine 2 x is part of my answer. Those are done. What I've got left to do though is to do this integral. I'm gonna pull this outside of the rest of my work and just deal with that integral. Just to keep things simple, don't let me forget to bring the rest of my work back into my answer. So I end up with just for that integral, I've got a 1 fourth here. And then I can replace that cosine squared with another power reduction formula. So here's what that power reduction formula looks like. I have 1 plus cosine of twice my angle. My angle is a 2x, so twice my angle is going to be a 4x, all divided by 2. That's my power reduction formula, dx. Okay, this is a little bit nicer, right? I've got nothing to square out. Let's start by bringing that divided by 2 out in front as a 1 half. So we get 1 fourth times 1 half. That's going to be a 1 eighth. On the inside, I get a 1, which is ready to integrate, plus a cosine of 4x, which is also ready to integrate, and then dx. Okay, so we're just about there. I've got my 1 eighth on the outside. The integral of 1 is x. And the integral of cosine 4x, I'm going to do that shortcut to the u substitution again. I've got really just an x on the inside times that 4. So I'm going to write a 1 fourth out in front of the integral. So I end up with plus 1 fourth. The integral of cosine is sine 4x. And this is all plus a c. Let's simplify this. I'm just going to bring the 1 8 through, and then I'm ready to combine it with the rest of my answer. It's a long answer, but all the hard stuff is done, I promise. Let's distribute that 1 8 through. So I get an x divided by 8 plus 1 8 times 1 fourth. I get a 1 30 second times the sine of 4 x and then there's a plus c on the outside. Let's go back up and find the first part of that answer. Here it is, a 1 fourth x plus a 1 fourth sine of 2 x. Let's go ahead and combine this with our answer. We'll have a little more cleaning up to do. I better write smaller, a 1 fourth x plus a 1 fourth sine of 2x. There's a plus c, but I'm going to combine my two plus c's together into just one big plus c. Now let's bring in what we got for that cosine squared. We got um, a 1 eighth x plus a 1 thirty second sine of 4x. And we combined our c's together so that we get one big plus c. Now I do have a couple of like terms here, so I can go ahead and combine these. 1 fourth is the same as 2 eighths x plus 1 eighth x, and I end up with a 3 eighths x there. So here comes my answer in all of its glory. We get 3 eighths x plus 1 fourth sine of 2x. We combined these plus 1 30 second sine of 4x plus c. You did fantastic. Take a look at this next video.